Vermont's capital city will have a greater police presence should any protests become violent. This after the FBI put state houses and capitol buildings on alert. Local 22's Jolie Sherman is live tonight with us from State Street. Jolie. Lauren, Vermont State Police spokesperson Adam Silverman says there haven't been reports of threats specifically directed at Vermont. However, to ensure safety here in the state's capital, Vermont State Police is providing an extra layer of protection. We don't really know whether it's a protest. Is it going to be an attempt to take the state house? Is it just going to be people holding signs? You know, there's really no indication of what this might be. We are planning for the worst and hoping for the best. Montpelier's mayor and city manager have had a busy week. Both have spent the last couple of days communicating the city's safety plans with the public. The, there's a potential that we could uh, close State Street, depending on whether that's needed. Um, we've also been in touch with some area uh, neighborhoods around the capital. Mayor Watson says City Hall and the Montpelier School District will work remotely on Wednesday, Inauguration Day. Businesses were also informed of the city's plans in a virtual meeting this week. So far, none have felt it necessary to board up or close. There are not any reports of um, credible specific threats or um, or protests directed at Vermont. However, it's important for us to prepare for any eventuality. Adam Silverman, spokesperson with Vermont State Police, says this type of security isn't unprecedented, just heightened given the current political climate. In the interest of personal responsibility and, and public safety, I think it's important for people to really think about whether this weekend and next week is the best time to exercise those rights. And ultimately, that's a decision that's up to each person. City Manager William Fraser says the state police plans to be in contact with the Montpelier Police Department for the next several days for added safety and protection. Adam Silverman encourages all Vermonters that if you see something, say something. And those reports can be made to your local police department, the Vermont State Police, or be made online anonymously. Reporting live in Montpelier, Jolie Sherman, Local 22 News.